Hi all. So today we will learn how uh, we can use environment variables in a React application. First of all, we need to uh, know what environment variables are basically. Actually, environment variables are uh, just like sim, uh, same as uh, normal variables in our application. But there are two main difference uh, between normal variable and environment variable. First of all, environment variables are uh, environment dependent, right? So uh, unlike normal uh, variables in your application, uh, environment variable will, uh, will be changed as per uh, the environment like uh, they they will they can be differ for uh, production environment and uh, uh, for uh, development environment for testing environment so we can uh, you know uh, categorize those uh, variables right so uh, there are two uh, in react application there are two uh, system uh, defined uh, environment variables uh, one one is node and uh, node environment and another is public path so we can't uh, uh, we, we we can't uh, overwrite them right so as you can see process dot env dot node env right so the uh, this environment uh, this is uh, this environment is uh, defined by system node environment you can't override that so once you are uh, in uh, development environment it will be development and when once you are in production it, it will show as production uh, process dot env just a <clears throat> normal node uh, object and you can access uh, this uh, process object uh, anywhere in your inside your uh, javascript uh, uh, javascript file in your application right so you can access these uh, and um, all uh, if you define any new uh, environment variable that variable will be uh, accessible using process dot env right okay so how we can uh, uh, define our uh, our own uh, environment variable so there are two ways like if uh, if you want to and uh, so one thing was uh, so second difference uh, between normal variable and environment variables is like environment variables are uh, injected in inside your application uh, at build time not run time it means uh, if you change any environment variable and so you have to uh, build your application again only then it will show show the updated value right okay so uh, how we can uh, create a uh, customize uh, environment variable let me show you so we uh, we, uh, we have uh, two options like so we have to create dot env file okay in your root directory you have to create in root directory only otherwise it will not work right like if i say uh, react react app is prefix it should uh, this is the prefix so you have to use um, this name in all your variables name right if i say version okay and if i say version is uh, 1.0 uh, 0.0 okay so, uh, so dot in a dot env file you can uh, create your common environment variable which will be uh, you know uh, which will, will remain same uh, in uh, production and uh, development or across the environments right so you can create here as well but if you want to uh, create a separate file for each uh, each environment that th then also you can do the dot env sorry dot env dot development okay and uh, uh, similarly dot production look at these two files right and if i create uh, here if i say uh, re uh, sorry react app okay and if i say url and uh, here you are is like http http like production dot com dot apis like just i'm just taking the example here i'm using production and env environment inside 
so uh, for development environment if i say like my url is different okay so i am using uh, two kind of uh, environment variable one is development and another is production so my api url will be changed accordingly so i am using two different url and so inside my application these urls will be changed uh, according to uh, environment i am selecting okay so and uh, i'm using these environment variables here process.env.react app version okay you have you don't have to import or uh, import these files or something like don't need to import or export uh, it will automatically uh, be fetched from there okay so uh, process.env.react app version so react app uh, react app is a prefix i uh, as i said and version will be uh, like version will remain same because I, we have declared in uh, this common environment file so in each uh, environment it will be the same okay and here we are using a react app prefix and then url okay so here i am using different url for uh, environment and uh, production okay so let's start this as you can see i'm not able to like i'm no, i'm not able to uh, show uh, show these these variables because i have to build this again okay let's start uh, server again now you can see uh, i'm on development environment and uh, version is 1.0 and i am using uh, and url i am getting for development okay so let's try a production environment as well so how to run production environment on our local machine i have created a separate video for that so you you can check that video and you can uh, then um, uh, run your production environment so here uh, actually in that video i sh uh, i showed that i i just created a prod environment prod um, create a script there so this is the script to run production environment here here build will um, build folder will be created so as you can see new build folder is created so if i check here on production environment so so now you can see on production I'm getting different URL and uh, for development I'm getting different URL okay so this is uh, the power of uh, environment variable you can change these variables uh, according to your environment and they they will behave differently but remember that you have to uh, build your application again okay so uh, that's all for this video I hope uh, it, it, it is uh, it will be helpful for you okay thank you bye bye